County mother to stab her four young children to death along with their father inside their home in Loganville. Police say she tried to kill the fifth child, the daughter under the age of 10, and at last check she was still alive, seriously injured and hospitalized tonight. Deborah Tuff begins our team coverage where she spoke to heartbroken neighbors. Neighbors say Isabel Martinez and her husband and five kids recently moved to Loganville from Illinois earlier this year. They say the family frequently held cookouts, entertaining visitors and friends. But those same neighbors say things took a strange turn recently after Martinez's dad in Mexico passed away. Play dates where they would come and make slime sometimes and playmates where they would play together and ride bikes and you know just be kids out here coming to an abrupt end for the daughter of Jewel Keys tragically as she copes with the brutal stabbing deaths of four children in this Loganville home her friends um, she was concerned about them still going to school and where would they live and I had to explain to her that um, some of them had passed on a lone survivor, a little girl fighting for her life at an area hospital, a man who lived in the house also killed. Gwinnett police say the children's mother and the man's wife, Isabel Martinez, pinpointed as the main suspect. Here's surveillance video from the moment she was taken into custody. Jim Hollinsworth runs an after school program called the Path Project. Many of the kids, including the victims, attended that program. I just know that over the last few weeks, some of our, our staff at the PATH Project has gotten to know these kids really well, and there was no indication. I mean, the, the kids were great. The kids were great and happy. And but according to one neighbor, there was some type of indication something was not right. She kept saying that she kept seeing things. Pedro Ramirez says the usually happy-go-lucky mom of five became temperamental after her dad recently died. He claims Martinez was upset she could not attend his funeral in Mexico. Recently, she's been like really mean to people. She's been like, get off my yard, when she used to be a really calm, happy person. And that to me just seems suspicious. I was shocked because nothing like that has ever happened here. The children, sadly, are all under the age of 10. Martinez faces a slew of charges, including five counts of malice murder, another five counts of murder, and six counts of aggravated assault. From Loganville, Deborah Tuff, 11 Alive News. Brian Kruger picks up our team coverage outside Eggleston Children's Hospital, where the only surviving child is being treated tonight. That lone survivor was air flighted here to Children's Health Care of Atlanta at Eggleston earlier today. But we do know that it is a young girl under the age of 10, but exact details on her age have not yet been released. Neighbors were confused. They were saddened. They were shocked about what happened there today. We do know five kids lived in that house. Four of them, unfortunately, were killed that fifth rushed here to the hospital. Neighbors were telling us that the family had just recently moved to the area. One by one, they were getting to know the little kids. They were always together, always playing together, and they were a happy-go-lucky family. And suddenly, it all ended in tragedy. Coming up tonight on 11 Alive News at 10 here on the ATL and 11 o'clock over on 11 Alive, we're going to be bringing you the latest on that little girl's condition. Now back to you. Thank you.